This is a tractor supply, four foot wide by seven foot long mesh covered trailer that I had just bought. I'm going to show you and take you through the procedures of how I'm going to beef this thing up. Because apparently when you first buy these, they're only about half built. You have to modify things to make them work. The first thing I'm going to do, I got some angle iron, 36 inches. This right here, if you push down on here, you can, you can just see it all twisting because you got a single bar here. And it just twists. So to firm that up on both sides, I'm going to take this angle iron and I'm going to weld it underneath here to give it that A-frame type thing deal. And it's all flat surfaces, so I don't have to cut any angles. I'm just going to lay this right on there, and that gives me the welding area there. Up under there I can weld, and over under there I can weld. One of those on each side to bring that to your stronger A-frame tongue so that it it won't be as uh, bending as much right here. And after I get that put on, I have a piece of pressure treated half inch plywood four by eight I'm going to cut one foot of it off and it's going to lay right inside here I just brought it home in this trailer and in case any of you are wondering because I really was if you can even haul a sheet of plywood in it well you can because it fits wide no problem because plywood is 48 this is actually like 48 and I think three quarters or something so you have a little bit of room on each side but it fit right in there and it came upward and stuck over not a foot because you have your angle here but almost maybe like 10 inches or something over eight inches but it laid in there real nice and I rode home with it no problem so after I get that in, I see a lot of people doing the wood around the edges. What I'm going to do is I went to Lowe's and I got two sheets of um, their thickest sheet metal they had. I forget what gauges it is. And I'm going to cut them in strips, eight inches. So I get one, two, three. It's 48 inches wide, so I'll get three out of there. No, it's not 48 inches, I think it's 24. Yeah, because I'm going to get three wide. So I'll get three strips, one, two, and three. And I'm going to weld them inside here. One, two, three. Then I have another sheet there. One, two, and three. It'll cover all around the measure. And another thing I don't like about this is I just don't need this tall tailgate thing here. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be driving anything up onto it. If I ever do, um, I'll just stick a ramp or something up to it. So what I want to do, I'm going to come up maybe, I don't know, 8, 10 inches here. And I'm going to cut all of this. And I'm going to remove this all off. And I've got another longer piece of angle iron here. And like this top piece here, I'm going to drop it down. And just put it, weld the new one right across there so I have a, a nice low gate. Pick it up and lay it down, and it'll hang in midair. Um, I just don't need this high thing here. I don't like the looks of it or anything like that. I would reuse this, but it's no fun trying to, I think, get those 
cut through those welds and everything like that. It makes it easier just to make a slice across here and put a new piece on there. And I'm probably going to go to Harbor Freight and get a cheap uh, jack with a wheel on it or something like that. I don't even need a wheel. You don't need assistance dragging this thing around. It's so light. Um, but I just want to have a jack to hold it up in place so I don't always have to rely on a board or a 6x6 six six to lay the thing on. Plus it protects underneath here and everything, your chain and wire. But that's it and I'm going to take you through here after the work progresses okay I have this thing tilted up on end right now on its side I was able to pick it up by myself I put a few blankets down there just to keep it from getting scratched on certain points it didn't even hit in the back corner. So it's a resting, you know, on the blanket a little bit. First thing I did based on other reviews I've seen was I checked all my welds from the factory. Each piece, both sides. And it looks like I lucked out because mine are all welded. Some people said that they found ones that were not, they forgot to weld. So I don't know who builds these or whatever. Um, so you know, everything looks all right under here. So I have it tilted up on its side. So I'm gonna put this angle iron, the first one, weld across this way. I just think it's gonna be easier to weld rather than trying to crawl underneath the trailer and do the welding. I have one crossbar welded on already for strengthening the the, uh, the sway or the tilt that this had in it because it only had this one piece of tongue there I don't know your technical terms so um this piece is welded on didn't have to do any cutting of the angle iron because it all laid on there that laid down right across there this came down in here Flapped right up onto there. And the welder I'm using is a Harbor Freight stick welder. This little inverter welder. Let me tell you, these things are great. Well worth the money. I'm no professional welder. Just a little, uh, amateur whatever I need done around the house and um, the thing has never failed me so it's worked great for me all right I'm gonna flip it over and get the other side I'll uh, flip the whole trailer up so this side I can work on all right now I have the other side welded on so now we have the a frame here to the tongue which is going to give it more stability from this twisting from just that one bar sticking out from the, the whole trailer itself. So with these crossed going to here and up to here, that gives it less, uh, less that it's going to burn, uh, bend and sway that way. All right, so those are on. That's the welding's all finished there. All right, I'll tell you where I'm at now. The two cross pieces are on and finished. Uh, here and there and it did it did uh, stabilize that a lot more it's much more sturdy now if you push on the corners it doesn't sway down as much I put in a piece of four feet wide seven feet long pressure treated plywood half inch four feet wide fitting perfect in there because they give you a little bit of room on each side so I just had to cut a foot off and it went right in, no problem. I did not attach it yet. Um, it's laying in there pretty firm. 
I'll find something, some washers, a few, a few nuts and bolts. I cut down the back tailgate because I just could not stand the look of that real high mesh gate back there. It would fool down, it's supposed to be a ramp to ride something up. There's no way a tire, let alone just you walking up it, is going to um, keep that thing from, from busting right through. Because the mesh, is it's, it's thick mesh, but it's not enough to hold a, a, an ATV or if you would walk up into it or whatever you'd want to do. So I cut that down just for looks, and I really like the new look of it. Um, that way you can reach in the back nice and easy too if you have things in there. So that's the new look and I like it. The sides, I haven't done anything with the sides yet. I'm not going to do sheet metal on there because it's just going to be uh, too involved and it won't end up looking nice at all. I'll probably get some uh, wood and paint the sides black, paint the wood black, put it in all around there. But for now, I think I'm just going to let it go, use it like this for a while. But I like the new look and it's beefed up a little bit.